G'day mates, bit of Australian for you. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I'm in Desbury or Dasbury, just inside of Warrington. Now this is the birthplace of Lewis Carroll, famous and very well known author of books such as Alice in Wonderland, uh, Narnia Tales I do believe, I'll check on that when I get home, but I think it is. So yeah, now this car park, I'm in now, there's a sign that says Lewis Carroll Centre. Just a church. I don't know where the Lewis Carroll Centre is, is, so I'm gonna have to find it. I'm sure me and the pie master can sniff it out. Let's have a little lick at, look, lick. <laughs> at Darsbury, Darsbury, Darsbury. And we did notice driving up the road here, a lot of houses have got these mannequins outside all dressed up. Now, I don't know why they're all dressed up, but there's various characters from history uh, these are outside people's private properties or residential properties. So we're going to have a look. I'm going to try and find out why they're there and what they signify. OK, let's go for it. Well, the church grounds are very nice. Look at this lovely tree. Look at that. It's going to be a cracking tree for climbing, that would, wouldn't it? A lot of lovely lights. The entrance to the church. Or is this the Lewis Car Carroll? Do you know? <laughs> My mouth's not working today. I know some will think, thank God for that. But um, here we go. I think this is just the church. It's just part of the church. That's obviously new. Our master's over there and he's, he's not saying anything, so I don't think it is the Lewis Carroll Centre. The church is very lovely. Mm. Can anyone tell me what this strip is? Is it lead? Is it to deter lining strikes? It won't be to attract them, will it? I have seen these before on churches. And I'm quite sure it's something to do with lightning. Some sort of conductor, perhaps. That's my educated guess, anyway. And I am well educated. <laughs> the vlogs, right? What time we're at? Half past nine. We arrived. It's a nice looking church. Told you by the pie master, it's shut. Yeah, it's more. It's more of that lead. I'm quite sure that's a lightning conductor or something to stop the lightning strikes doing any damage. I've seen him before, but it was a long, long time ago. Right, I'm going to go on with these properties now, so I need to ask the same what all the mannequins are outside the houses. A lot of building work going on over the road. Now, I'm quite near to Daresbury Hall, Downsbury Hall, and it's just gone to rack and ruin now. Uh, many moons ago, it was about to be renovated, but the poor chap who put the money towards it passed away before the plans were drawn up, so it's just gone to rack and ruin. The company did buy it and use it, or rent it, and use it for uh, zombie games. You'll find that on the internet. And in 2015, the police were called out to it, and they found a cannabis farm. A street value of 750 grand. So now there's a lot of cameras around it. I might fly the drone over if I can get close, I don't know. I will have a look in a bit, so let's have a look and see. So there it is. The Lewis Carroll Centre is there! Great, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know which way that did point originally. But it's certainly not that way because we've just been down there. So, maybe it's down there, but I've been down there as well. Oh well, never mind. Maybe it doesn't exist anymore. Here's the Ring of Bells in Dasbury. Nice. Dasbury Village Hall. 
and there you go there's the sign that tells us what all these mannequins are they're scarecrows it's the Daresbury Scarecrow Festival made of Holton Haven Hospice well I hope they made tons of money because hospices are wonderful places and I know from experience there's a car pop and here's one of the scarecrows brilliant Big cross. Let's go and find the. There's, there is plenty more. We're going to have a look at some more of these. It's fascinating. Let's hope they made t loads and loads of cash. I really do. A very, very nice Jaguar I Pace. And this is what happens when you park under a tree. Oh my god, that's going to take some bloody cleaning, that is. I mean, how long has it been there? <laughs> it's very small, Desbury. But very picturesque, very quiet. Quite an affluent area, I believe. Let's go find some more scarecrows. There's a couple up here. Mm. You can smell all the foliage. There's some lovely smells coming out of, uh, of the bushes around here. Here's another, another scarecrow. So look at this one. Look at that. That's great. Boudicca or Bodicea. Pronounce it how you will. Britain. Making strong, fierce warrior women since 30 AD. Well, Boudicca. Just great. And next door, who we got? Who is it, Les? Alfred the Great, mate. Alfred the Great. Now, whose photograph is that as a face? Is that the resident of the house? I wonder. Wow. King Harold II. Yeah. Great stuff. Yeah. My master's found another. Queen Vic oh yeah, undoubtedly Queen Victoria. There's no mistake about that. No mistake at all. Wow. <laughs> nice. Hey. Queen Victoria. Hatter's cottage. There's a bug of cutting that edge. Plenty of bunting. Plenty of bunting. With King Charles on himself. Oof. Pricey, pricey, pricey. Alfred the Great. Oh, it got a highly commended. It got a highly commended. I wish one won. No idea. I can only imagine this is private property. It's private property, so I won't go any further than this. But we can zoom in. King Athelstan. First king of England. He's looking good for it, isn't he? Lovely cottages. Lovely, lovely cottages. Dunsmower World. Honda. Honda, best engines in the world. You can keep your um, other cars. <laughs> say no more, say no more. <laughs> Gotta be careful not to upset anybody, you know. I love my Honda. <laughs> yes. Now just before 
that road up there is Village Farm. Private, no parking or access. Look at this new development. Look at them. Hoo wee. They're pretty spectacular, aren't they? You know when I said it's an affluent area? Well, you, you can see that now. Lovely. Any more mannequins up here? Let's have a little wander and have a look, eh? Hopefully there is. I want to see the one that won first prize. More new properties. A lot of new builds here in Daresbury. It's such a small place. They're really capitalising on the space they've got. Then again, it's just nice and peaceful. Orchard Croft. Magnificent. And a bit further up, I'm hoping, still hoping, we're going to see at least another one scarecrow. And I don't mean Pie Master. Nice lot of country greenery. Just opposite, Derby Primary School. Deadly quiet, isn't it? I don't live in here. I certainly couldn't afford it, but uh, it's a lovely place. Oh, what have we got there? Oh, highly commended, a little one, a little, little scarecrow. Oh, <laughs> Edward the Seventh. <laughs> well, just about to leave Dasbury. And here, Dasbury Garden Village. More building going on. Used to be feels this. Not anymore. But then again, most houses were underneath with warms of field. And right over there in the distance, you can see Fiddler's Ferry. Nuclear power. Yeah, I think it's going to be demolished. Fiddler's Ferry, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be demolished. But there you go. New properties going up everywhere around Daresbury. Hmm. So what do you think of the village? What do you think of the village? It's, it's nice. Now unfortunately, I couldn't get close enough to Daresbury Hall to get the drone out and film it. It was quite a distance between me and the hall. And it was just trees everywhere. And we all know what trees do to drone signals, don't we? They stop them. And these were thick, huge trees. So there's no way I'd have kept signal and flown to the hall. So unfortunately, there won't be any drone footage. But there you go. These things happen. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll see you next time I'm out and about. Take care.